Okay, this is the um, FreeSonus Studio Live um, 160402. Um, I've dismantled it. Uh, as you can see, power supply parts there. I've taken the DSP board out, as you can see, and there's a top panel that's been taken off. Here is the DSP board. It's always best to remove the board rather than try and solder it in situ. Um, here we go. These are all the channels coming in. Uh, see the DA converters there. I think the, the DA converter in this, I don't know if it's going to show up on YouTube, but it is a, a PCM 4104 Burr Brown. That is a DA converter. That's probably about four channels, I would say. So that's the one to four, uh, four uh, five to eight, nine to 12, and 13 to 16. This is a 16 channel desk, mixing desk, digital mixing desk. Here's all the, the logic, these horrible chemical capacitors that, which uh, sometimes can leak all over the place. When you're fault finding this, uh, massive DSP there, when you're fault finding this, um, it's a good idea to sniff the board um, because um, these chemical capacitors, when they leak, they leak um, a substance out that smells like wee, smells like cat's piss, basically, cat's wee. So it's good to sniff the board to see whether any are leaking. You can sometimes see whether they're leaking um, but it's good to smell as well. Obviously, look at the tops of the capacitor, see if there's any bulging or any seepage out of them. You've got to really inspect the board well. Now, looking through this, these um, five volt surface mounted regulators, apparently they produce quite a f lot of faults on these. So I'm going to replace this. I'm just waiting for some um, replacements to come through. I'm not going to replace them with surface mounts. I'm going to put full size ones on with heat sinks on because I don't trust these surface mount uh, ICs much. And that's something I noticed. Look at that. That's been replaced by somebody. It's not been replaced very well. It's uh, put on crooked. Loads of flux still left on the board. So it's obviously had a problem with this area before. So um, I'll certainly be replacing this one, but probably this one was on its way out and needs to be done as well. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got a little um, tester uh, that I got from China that tests transistors uh, and things like that. Might test these regulators, I'm not sure whether it will or not. Probably not actually, but uh, if there's any way I can test them, I will test them to verify this is a problem. The problem, unfortunately, is very intermittent. It works, the mixer works uh, with sound on it. And then after you've used it for an hour or so, half an hour even, um, switch it off, go away, come back again. It won't, it'll switch on, but there'll be no sound after that at all till it's completely cold. And um, so I was scratching my head a bit on this one because um, PreSonus don't support these. There's no boards left for them. Um, and they won't release service notes so this is quite difficult even though uh, when i was in brazil i was actually um, repaired quite a few of these and i spoke to the guy who ran the uh, presonus here in brazil and he would he was supplying me parts if i needed them and everything uh, anything that i needed with these but uh, yeah. now i have to make my contacts all over again since i left Brazil and went back to England to have some operations on my leg, uh, come back again. I'm no longer um, remembered by a lot of people, but I've, my reputation, uh, Delatrite's reputation has remained here and people know that I know my stuff. So I'm just sort of starting from scratch now from the beginning. Um, my workshop is in, in our house that we have, um, but I could be getting another place I would say next year and in actual fact my leg is still undergoing treatment as you can see 
um, I've got this uh, fixer door holding my leg or this sort of like Liz Rovi type thing it's holding my leg together because uh, my leg had to be extended by um, by three centimeters because I lost three centimeters of bone on the top half here when this was completely smashed up this side smashed as well this leg was fractured in seven places and I've got no cartilage left in my ankle and no circulation and my foot still needs to be sorted out so perhaps um, you know in a few months they might even put another Liz Rovi on which I can't which I won't be able to move about in at all but hopefully not hopefully I'm at the end of this this um, process it's been nine years coming up to ten years since I had the accident so it's sort of uh, has affected me quite badly but after two years um, I am finally thinking very strongly about launching Delatronics again as a service centre um, for the south of Brazil and perhaps all of Brazil who knows and maybe even England maybe even someone from England could send stuff through when things get fully back to normal after this Covid bout but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're working on one of these there's not much support out out there for these no parts no circuit diagrams i hope that this might help you um, so this is uh, i think a later version of the mixer um, on the earlier versions there was uh, this board was in two halves there was half for uh, all the inputs the adc animal to digital conversion went on half on this board on the half and then this board was to do with the outputs auxiliary outputs master outputs and all of that so now they've integrated it into one board on the later models and um, there was four four of these regulators which gave problems there's another if you search on youtube you can see the video uh, about these um, but now they seem to be only three i can only count three this is one here so it looks like there's one five volt regulator for the input section and two five volt regulators for the output so since the um, master outputs um, don't work i didn't check the auxiliary outputs but the master outputs certainly don't work and the headphone output doesn't work it's difficult to know what it is because i have no diagram i could certainly be able to find it better with a diagram but um, I would say it's probably one of these two that's gone I'm going to replace them both and I'm also going to replace uh, this one as well um, this one here as well even though there's nothing wrong with the input side I'm going to replace them all because there are problems with these and um, obviously I don't want to repair this it to go back to the customer and then um, a few months later the customer says yeah now the inputs don't work because to dismantle one of these mixers is, is a pain in the backside really it's a, a lot of screws I've got I've got a lot of screws here I kept the screws and the knobs in here um, it's full of screws tiny screws um, yeah there's the side panels and everything you have to pull off as well so I didn't think to do a video of dismantling but there are videos on uh, YouTube, other videos which tell you how to dismantle it. Um, it's just a lot of screws really, it's nothing complicated, it's just a lot of screws. And this row of knobs here, um, you have to undo some screws there which are torque screws at the top, on the top panel, and pull all the knobs off along that top bit as well. So it's a little bit fiddly, a little bit long winded, but once you get stuck in it shouldn't take you more than about 40 minutes or so to dismantle it so anyway so I'm working a bit blind here without a diagram but I'm hoping that this uh, video that I saw on um, YouTube will um, is the thing it certainly seems like these are a problem these these uh, regulators 5 volt regulators uh, positive regulators so I'm going to replace these with some standard uh, 7805 regulators um, not surface mount type but standard ones um, because uh, they sort of rated for one and a half amps or 
one to one and a half amps I think these surface mount ones are probably you know pushing it a bit so all right hope you enjoyed the video thanks a lot